Create the A4 portrait document. Ensure the Essentials Classic workspace is enabled. Draw a circle using the ellipse tool. Remember to hold down the shift key. Change the fill to brown. Use the selection tool to select the circle. Press the alt key and drag to duplicate it. Now change the fill to white. Press and hold the eraser tool and then select the scissors tool. Click the left and right middle anchor points. You now have two semi-circles. Use the selection tool to select the bottom half and press the delete key. Select the white semi-circle and then the pen tool. Click on the left and right anchor points to create a path on the missing section. Press the P key to finish the path. Select and drag the top half up and place over the top of the brown circle. Select the curvature tool. Click to make about three points on the path. Drag the points to drip the sauce. You can click to add an extra point then drag again. Select the entire pudding by highlighting over or holding the shift key and selecting each part. Add a size 3 PT stroke. Create a red berry now with the ellipse tool. Remove the stroke. Duplicate the berry. Remember select it then use the Alt key and drag. Select all three berries. Choose the Shape Builder tool. Click and drag through all of them. Select the new shape. Add a stroke to the outside. Select all the pudding and move it down the page. Ctrl and plus to zoom in. Make sure there is no fill. For the holly, use the pen tool. Click to start the path. Then click and hold to get the rubber band to create a curve. Click on the anchor point to confirm then start the next one. Remember click and hold to create the curve and click on the anchor to confirm it. When finished click on the first anchor to close the point and P on your keyboard to stop drawing. Fill it with green now and remove the stroke. Hold the Alt key and drag away to duplicate it. Right click on the holly and choose transform then reflect. Click OK. Shrink the holly if you need to by pulling the handles. Holding the shift key as well with maintain the proportions. As you've just seen drag the holly down. You could save time by shrinking them both first. Select both pieces of holly and right click. Choose arrange and then send to back.